subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon for the latest film interviews, features and recommendations on the movies that matter. Let's give him a great show, okay? The one and only... Pia, Angelina, you know, I was curious to know, when you take a job like this, does a part of that decision come from a place of being a parent and thinking, this is a film that my, my kids will enjoy watching? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think we Without were both really encouraged by our kids, specifically on this one, because our kids were both of us have kids old enough to have read the book, loved the book, encouraged it. I think, if anything, there was a pressure not to mess it up. Right. Pia? Which is actually very helpful, a very helpful pressure. Um, right. It's certainly a first time for me to work on a project that, as Angie says, that my kids, who of course mean the world to me, for them to have such a, a huge um, interest in it and pr almost feeling a protection over the story was, uh, well, it was new for me and it was a wonderful addition to this project. Mm -hmm. right. Uh, Angelina, you provide the voice to Stella, of course. She's the, she's the older elephant who's introduced in the film, in fact, as the queen of the top. She's got this soothing, calming presence. She's got wisdom and maturity um, when she speaks. Um, what is the process, Angelina? What is your process of arriving at um, the character's voice and delivery when you're doing this kind of job? This is not the first time you've voiced an animated character. How do you get to it? Well, I, I'm, I'm not as calm as Stella, or, but I am maternal. And I mm -hmm. think that, uh, you know, I, I, I feel for her. She's a character I loved because she, she, she does represent that mother instinct to worry about the next generation, what's happening next. I won't be here forever. Mm -hmm. And she's, she's at, the, at a certain time in her life where she's ready to let go. And she wants to make sure, like we do when you have children, you're always preparing them for when you're gone and hoping that they have, um, they have the understanding they need and they're close to each other and you prepare them. Um, so for that, that came very easy to me. Um, and then of course she was, she was becoming sicker during the film. So that was something that we would work on and be careful with how, how much or how little, but she's a lovely character to play. She's a, she's a special character. You know, um, the film, of course, is based on a book that itself was inspired by the true story of uh, Ivan the Gorilla, who was, of course, um, a mall attraction for 27 years. Uh, but to me, the masterstroke is that it tells the story from the gorilla's point of view. Um, to, to both of you, how do you think that approach benefits the story? I think it opens it up and makes it immediately... Um much more, much easier for kids, I think, funnily enough, to, I think it really appeals to the younger generation. Um, kids find it really easy to use their imagination. So for them, it's not hard. It's not hard to imagine that this is a gorilla who talks. It's, as ever, it's adults who make things much more complicated. Um, mm. And I think Catherine really managed to hit exactly the right tone of voice to get her very profound, very moving, very articulate um, story through. And um, that was one of our biggest challenges was to understand that, take hold of that and represent that through the movie. Why do they want an angry gorilla anyway? You're a silverback. He terrifies humans. <laughs> Angie? No, I think that's right. I think, uh, I think, um, it's, it's what he can observe because he has that purity uh, of thought and the observations are very, they, they read simply and very clean, but they're very, very poignant and they're very profound what he, what he notices about, especially what he notices about human beings and what they need and what they want and how they, how they treat each other and what they take. And, and uh, there's a lot to learn from it. So it's a great tool. And it's also a great deal of fun because I believe that the, the, chi the child is fascinated with, loves the animal, fascinated by the animal and what the animal might be thinking and the life within these, these other creatures, these other families we live on this earth with, you know. I think it's the adults that are the slobbering mess. I was sobbing by the end of it. Lovely film. Thank you to both of you. Thank you so much.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.